the ladies, the parents will drop their kids off for a lesson and they'll go down to the local uh, shopping centre and have, have a coffee. So the, 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 the families don't stay in the clubs quite as much and that's part of what we're looking to do here with Hot Shots. And Craig Morris is actually, that's his alias. His first name is Hot, his second name is Shot, <laughs> uh, Craig. And he's going to drive this program. Thanks, and, and the whole of Tennis Australia will get behind this, put the shoulder behind the wheel, and we think this is the way to get it into the, the, the schools, to get kids on the court. Um, the, and the Cardio Tennis is another program that is going to be uh, angled more at an older uh, demographic so that uh, it's a fitness aspect, but this hot shots is a very important thing for us to get young kids into the sport early, and then it can become a family sport again. Todd and Craig, I want to ask you, you're the respective heads of men's and, and women's tennis. You've got the people, we've just heard. You've got the courts, we've also heard that. Not everyone is going to be representing Australia, which I guess when you're a kid and you start playing sport, that's your, your ultimate goal. Uh, how do you engage with that whole community? How do you get these Sudanese kids that Alicia sees when she goes home? How do, how do you get them into tennis? Uh, well, the program's going to get them. <laughs> He's going to get them. Craig's going to go. I'm going to be busy, aren't I, in the next three years? No, Steve told me that last Craig, week. Craig, Craig is obviously just, just he, he has been head of women's tennis and two weeks ago has taken on a new role as, as leading this new program. But the thing is, for me, in, in the level that I sit at, at is that I take care of 16 and above in the men's game. Um, our pathway right now is, is, is working quite well. There are no, no holes for good young players to fall into at the present moment um, because of the way we're staying. We, we, we can resource them, our coaches that are out there working for them more or less 24 hours a day um, in all different environments from uh, the National Academies to the AIS to a Davis Cup squad to the Davis Cup team. So that pathway is taken care of. What we need now is more individuals into that pathway. So where do they come from? Well, to be good at tennis, to be quite honest with you, um, the, the really good players are already performing um, at a level at 8, 9, 10 years of age. That you can see in their game, in their technique, in their eye, in, in their, everything that goes about becoming a tennis player has already started at that young age. That's why this part of the game becomes so critical. That's where they've got to come from. That's where you've got to build your numbers because the numbers start like this and they end up being down to you know 1 to 10 that might have a chance of actually making it. So... Um, the reason why we're focusing on a program like this so heavily is to get the kids, to get the numbers, the places to play are crucial so that they can continue on, the competitions become crucial, and then you have that opportunity. Let's hope that you've got the champion that you know drives the broadcast, but you need the big numbers at your base. Mr Hotshot, do you concur? Thank you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look, um, it's, uh, it's critical that we get a... As I said before, I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, <laughs> You, uh, you have to get the best. The, the domestic 